Okay, sorry guys. Anyways, uh, today is, um, what I'm doing today is introducing um, some stones that you guys have not yet seen. Also, um, introducing, let's see, a little bit better. I'm trying to keep my horrible looking back window out of the picture because I try to keep the cats out of it. So, kind of have an interesting setup back there. Anyways, um, I wanted to show you my goodies that I got from Sandalwood and Sage today and go over a few crystals and stones. Also, introducing a new um, video series I'm going to do and I'm going to do the zodiac signs and their ruling elements and crystals and stones and things that are most powerful for those zodiac signs. So I thought that would be a fun series to work on and um, it'll kind of help it sharpen my skills too. And um, I use a lot of crystals in my healing and in my work. Uh, I use a lot of tinctures and things. I am re I've recently been going through some health issues myself and went in there for um, some particular items and I'm going to show you one of those today. Um, what, one of the fun things that I got, and it's going to be a video on its own, is a, um, the Siete Chakra, Chakras, Chakras uh, Incense Collection, and it's, it's a really, it's a really neat, it's made by him, which is the only incense I use, it's him, H-E-M, and it comes with all of these. There's seven of them there and I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go through, read about it. This is, um, this is a, this is new to me. I haven't done one of these before. I use a lot of these in my healing, but I've never bought the set like this before. So, uh, look forward to that video. I'm going to kind of do a little bit more research on it and um, and use it because a lot of my incense I use in my healing sessions and um, I, well, I always use incense in all my sessions. Uh, it just kind of depends, each session is dependent on that person and what they're needing. <coughs> um, lemongrass was another one I wanted to show everybody. That one is a really great one to burn just for clarity, mental clarity, and um, I also picked up a couple of my other favorites. These are usually I use, um, a lot of people ask me mixing um, Hindu and Wiccan and mixing things like that. Okay, I, I've already told everybody I'm one of those people that I don't like really label myself. I use a variety of practices, a large variety of practices, and um, the I've got here are the sun and the moon. These are made by him, and they're used they're used during rituals, and so those are also future videos to look forward to, where um, those will be coming into place. But I use those in healing sessions also, and. Um, these are some stones that I already had that um, I bought extras of because uh, either I've given mine away or used them in a healing um, session and given them to that person or they've bought, purchased them for me or um, I've given them my, you know, one of them called to one of my children or, you know, various reasons. And one thing I love about Sandalwood and Sage, um, my local metaphysical shop, is that they keep a large variety of quartzes, mineral stones. Uh, they keep a large variety of them at an affordable price, and I can afford to do that. I can afford to give them away. I can afford to include them in my sessions. Um, and those are things that I enjoy doing whenever I do do, uh, whenever I have sessions with people, healing sessions and spiritual sessions. 
any type of stones or crystals I use with them that I feel that they need to carry on, I give those to them. And um, I'm very fortunate that I have a local retailer that I can go in and find these stones and get them at a reasonable price so that I can share them with people. Um, this first one is a must have for everybody um, is citrine. And um, it's a beautiful little stone. It's, um, it's a quartz, it's a success stone. It's, a lot of people have those just you know, for success. Um, it's mainly used for like personal power. Um, a lot of psychics use it for personal power. Wiccans use it to increase power. Um, and you guys can comment on other reasons why you guys use it so that, you know, for our YouTube view viewers also. And um, that's, I like to hear what people use their crystals for too. Um, how white, this one's a fun one. I really like this one. It looks like a little marble piece, but it's actually in kind of like the jade family. They can dye it to look like jade. But it's white, and it's kind of got some black marble through it. And um, this one, it's uh, used to, um, it's used by psychics for wisdom. And um, a lot of times... I will give this to somebody that is spiritually in tuned that's having problems connecting and figuring out where they belong and and how to um, gain that inner strength you know and that's this is um, they it, it's believed that if you wear it psychics gain wisdom so it's it's also good just for you know that's just a wisdom stone. It's a fun stone. Um, it's also calming, and in my healing, I use it for people that experience a lot of chronic pain, and it's good for that also. Uh, insomnia, it helps along with insomnia. It's uh, one that goes along good with your pink quartz for insomnia. The next one is jade. Jade is a must-have. Everybody should have jade, I feel like. Um, and believe it or not, these I think it was a dollar or two for this piece of jade. It's not that expensive. It's polished. It's beautiful. You know, it's just... it's. And jade has been widespread used through the Asian population and through the community for balance, prosperity, um... Oh, you didn't see which one it was? This, uh, let's see, this one was Jade, I just did. Uh, this one is, that one is the, um, the Halite. Yeah, Halite. That's, this is the one that was before Jade, it was Halite. Yeah. And, like I said, that one's worn for Wisdom for psychics and mediums. Um, it's also kind of a protection too. Um, it's calming. Oh, well, let's see. I'm trying to see if mine's running off of my Wi-Fi. Let me see if I'm running off my Wi-Fi. No. Okay. There we go. That's still, it's still going. Okay, and um, so anyways, the I was on Jade, um, like I said, widely used um, in Asian population, um, for, and it's believed it's a chakra, believed in balancing and um, calming uh, peace, it signifies uh, bonds, families, women will wear them, um, bracelets as a small child. It um, symbolizes a protection. Uh, the next one, this one I give away fairly often, all the time. Um, fire agonite, agite, agite. I always say it wrong. Um, this one, I'm. It's a really pretty stone. It's um, it's worn by. 
it's another one that's worn by spiritually inclined people. They, um, it helps with spiritual clarity and that connection. And it's, it's labeled the truth stone. And it's, it helps people that are connected spiritually in tune to ward off some of those spirits that may tend to be, um, you know, show themselves as good, but not. Um, I had an experience with my middle child um, whenever he was very young. We had a, a spirit that presented itself as a good spirit to my son and ended up being a demonic spirit. And anyways, we were able to deal with it, got rid of him over and done with it was um, and those are those are things that seek people out um, negative energies seek people out that have um, natural intuition and spiritual bonds especially if you practice positive only spirituality if you are positive energy only and then that really leaves you vulnerable to a lot of the dark entities that can disrupt your life. So fire, fire agonite is great. Um, okay, now these are my new ones. These are the fun ones that I picked up and my cat is laying on them. You can tell he is totally spoiled. Alright, so let's see. Castiel, hop up for a second. Thank you, sir. Okay, um, this first one I got, this is a fun one, because um, they're new, I have to, um, I gotta find where I put it, okay, there it is, my little book of secrets over here, um, okay, the Dalmatian, Dalmatian Jasper, that's really pretty stone. And I got a few of them here. And it's kind of like a beige uh, or eggshell white with black polka dots in it. And it's really beautiful and it helps bring down those um, protective walls and barriers that you've put up that are maybe not so good for you that maybe you you put up that don't you aren't necessary for you to have up and those the the dalmatian jasper is supposed to aid and help clarifying and bring down those walls that you don't really need anymore but there's no longer a need for um let's see it's also um psychics use it as to protect their psychic powers that was one I didn't know. And I learned something new today from the, from picking up the um, Dalmatian Jasper. So, like I said, that was, that's one of my new finds. Um, my other new find is, um, well, it's not a new find. Bornite. I, you know, I've had it before. But this one, this one's a really pretty one. It's um, the Peacock Ore. And it's gorgeous bluish purple colors. It's absolutely beautiful. And I just love it. And here it is. It's kind of like a blue sparkly. It's really pretty. Absolutely beautiful. Like I said, it's in, these are in the raw forms. And I feel the most energy from the raw forms. And... There was one thing about the peacock or whenever I did, came home and did my research on it. And whenever I seen them, I picked it up and I just immediately felt the energy, the connection to my chakra just immediately. It was like immediate. And I asked her, what, where, do, where does this come from? What is, you know, tell me about this. And, um, you know, she went over a few points in a book. There's a lot of really good authors that, um, and I forgot to, I don't, can't remember off the top of my head their names, but they're really good authors on crystals and minerals and meanings and healings and things like that. And 
Um, we read a little bit about it from there, and what I found on it is um, it was used in reducing fevers of such sort. It's also considered to the stone of happiness to treat um, disorders of the psyche and things like that. Uh, um, like I, the place I go to, it's so I so reasonable. All mine to are, are under two dollars. So yeah, the all, all of hers there. She's really got a great prices on her stuff. Um, this one, um, the peacock, um, the peacock or it aids in helping you get rid of releasing what you no longer need. But it's that powerful increase in your chakra is what this will help with. And so, yeah, it's, it's cool. I really do like this one. And um, you can tell they... Now, there are um, Bornite Peacock Ore that where they have taken... Um, I forget what it's called. It's something. It's a chemical they spray. They can spray on it and create the illusion of this peacock ore. And that, if you that one, you won't get the colors like you do on this one. I mean, this one it has all the its own natural colors. It's just absolutely beautiful. And then you can still see the rough edges of the boronite, just the plain. Uh, rock form of it through there. So this one's not been chemically altered. This one is a natural one from this from the earth. Um, the last one I have, or no, the next one I have here, this is one that um, I got for myself. Oh, let's say my connection's weak. Let me scoot over. Sorry guys, I keep saying my connection is weak. I'm trying to... I was going to try to connect to my Wi-Fi and see if that gives us a stronger connection here, guys. Okay. There we go. Okay. Um, this next one. This is... I got this one for myself because... Like I said, um, <laughs> like I said, I uh, I'm going through some female issues, and um, the female issues that I'm going through, I wanted to get some crystals and stuff to um, do my own type of um, healing for myself, and this is the one I got, and it's sulfur and. Uh, this is one you wouldn't want to keep with your other rocks and stuff. I call them my rock collection. This because it is soft, and I can see a little piece of it's broken in there. But um, sulfur is um, an acid. And it's a. It's also a truth-telling type mineral. Yeah. Um, this one, the sulfur, I'm going to use it. Like I said, I've got um, some ovarian or uh, uterine tumors and things. Um, this one's really good for treating female it, female problems. Sulfur is. And um, it also helps if you've got a hot-headed temp, um, temper. Um, it's used in healing for detoxifying and destroying. And... Um, yeah, just keep it in the baggie is what I would do until you use it. If you're using it in candle magic, if you're using it in a tincture, if you're using it in anything, any type of healing or whatever, I would keep it in your baggie until you're ready to use it. A lot of people keep it in a little small box or anything like that. And no, it's fine. Um, it also is, and, and I didn't know this, um... I mean, I knew in the past that my mom kept soft, uh, sulfur, phosphorus, and things like that. And those ward off hexes and things like that put against you. So, sulfur is a good one to have also. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm an, uh, yeah, I was a natural redhead, so yeah, I'm hot-headed too. Um, so first, probably one one thing I should have been using a long time ago. Um, so the, um, and it also it what it does is what it's believed in metaphysically is in healing is it takes the mind. Try to knock over my drink over here. I got cat decided to move on the other side of the desk. Um, it's by taking away that mental emotional connection and composition away from um, any illness or anything that you're suffering from. That is what the sulfur is good for. And yeah, carry <laughs> around your neck. I need to dip my body in it, but um, that's what it's used for. And it's <laughs> Castiel. Um, and that's like one thing to take into consideration whenever you're doing spiritual heal healing is that mental emotional connection to what you have that's bothering you if you can disconnect your mental emotional feeling away from that you can heal much faster from it because the more i mean it's kind of like you wish it upon yourself you dwell on it and so you know if you continue to dwell on it you, and I believe that you can create more, you can make yourself sicker, I think. And I believe that a lot of people do make themselves sicker than what they really are by stressing themselves out and the mental stress on it, I believe, makes themselves work, worse. And even like our presidents, if you go back and look at our presidents, whenever, uh, sorry, the cat's in my face and now I got cat hair in my face. Um, if you look at our presidents, when they first got into presidency, how young they look, and then four years later, they look like they age 10 years. Stress and, you know, bringing upon those things cause all that. So, sulfur is believed to cut that line between the emotional um, connection that you have to bring upon those things on yourself. And so, it's a good one to have. And, um... I probably, like I said, needed a long time ago to ward off hexes and spells against myself. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And, yeah, stress does kill. Absolutely. Like I said, if you look at all of our presidents, they're either white-headed or ball by the time they leave presidency. Um, let's see. This last one I'm going to do, I already had some of this, but they had a different kind there today that was fun. But I gotta flip back through my notes so that I find, because like I said, it's one I bought a long time ago that I've had in my collection, but they had a different kind this time. Castiel, you are not making this very easy. Sorry guys, as you can see, the cat decided he wanted his time. Okay. Now, they called this one um, Cornelian Eye, and it's basically Cornelian, but it's the orange, but it's got little white dots in it, and it's beautiful, and everybody should have a Cornelian, and this is what sparked my um, uh, <laughs> Cat Stiel off of Supernatural. <laughs> oh, he loves, this is my lover boy. He's wonderful. Um, the carnelian is what um, sparked my idea to do the zodiac signs, um, their um, meanings and their um, elements and crystals and, you know, things that, uh, for each zodiac sign. So I figured I'd do a video, um, on each one of the zodiac signs. And the interesting thing about um, Carnelian is one of the very first stones I ever got because it is the element stone for Virgos. And it's a very strong, orange is very strong and symbolic in the spiritual community anyways, spiritual wise. It's a very strong color. Um, 
I picked up some extra ones because I'm gonna give some to my kids. They are good for motivation. Um, Sagittarius, I'm not sure right off the top of my head. I'd have to pull out one of my other books. Um, like, like I said, I'm gonna do a video on all of them. I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna do a, a individual video on each one, each sim, each zodiac sign, and what their stones and elements and things are for that zodiac sign. And um, the Carnelian, it's a quartz, so it's also good in ceremonies and things like that. Um, it's one that I use in spiritual healing for love, relationships, home and family, things like that. I use this one in almost all my spiritual healing. And um, yeah, it's, I think it's going to be really exciting doing those. Uh, just because... I, it, like I said, it'll further my education on um, getting deeper into zodiac signs and people what people could use just in their everyday surroundings for themselves and to uh, you know keep their own natural balance for their sign if they're earth, fire, wind, you know what whatever their um, element is and things that can help that help them individually and. Um, it's, uh, that stone is also used by spiritual healers. Um, I've used it in the past for couples trying to conceive a child, um, making tinctures with it and things like that. Um, it's, it's very powerful and I really do love that stone and it, um, or that quartz. It relieves anxiety um, it's believed that, you know, if you wear them, it helps relieve anxiety. Uh, in your purifying and protecting spells, anytime you do any type of purification or protection, it's really good to use a stone in those spells. Because it's, um, it is a very powerful stone, and it is called the third chakra. It's directly related to your third chakra. So that's one. It's that you're in your third chakra is your balancing. So it's really important um, in your five senses. So um, I use it in treating people that have like rheumatoid arthritis, inflammation problems, things like that. Um, people that need, you know, the the element of fire to for healing. So this is a perfect one for it. Um, it's used by almost everybody, Buddhist, um, people from Nepal, places like that. Um, also on my Facebook, I um, had, where's that? To my other book. Um, I wanted to touch on um, a subject called um, sodality. Okay, sodality, S-O-D-A-L-I-T-Y. Sodality, if you look it up on Wiki or whatever you want to call it, um, it is something other than being a Christian organization. Okay, the Catholics picked it up and used the sodality pens and things like that and charms. Sodality basically means any type of belief or structured organization or anything like that that is under the beliefs other than Christianity. And um, in layman terms, um, if you want to just break it down, it's people that are open to all things. They're open to all races, sexes, religions, anything. Sodality, it is, it just means that, it, it's a word meaning that group. And um, the um, safety pin, so that the safety pin thing, um, the metaphysics shop had, it was a, um, just a little basket full of safety pins and um, they have a website and it's on um, yeah it's on my Facebook page I shared it on my Facebook page and that's one thing because I had a lady confront me 
or not confront me, but um, compliment me on wearing my pentagram. And she said, you're not worried about it. She goes, I really can't wear mine because of work and everything. And I said, well, the pentagram was a Christian symbol to begin with. Christians made it, can, the, Christians are the ones that considered it pagan. So, um, like I said, I don't like labels. And I feel like this safety pin correlation is a wonderful cause uh, they do not, they are, the safety pin represents everything um, that you, you believe in all beliefs, that you believe in world peace, harmonizing, get everybody working together as a society and surviving. It really is important that during this time in our lives and in our nation that all religions and everything quit we all quit separating ourselves and all come together and that's why I use um, no no specific place to put it you can wear it anywhere and the and people that wear the safety pins you know all know the meaning of it if you just have a safety pin you know just pinned on your shirt somewhere or on you you know that it means that you believe that all people, you know, peace. You believe in um, that there's no difference in religions and races and sexes. And, you know, you believe that, you know, we can all coincide together and everybody be peaceful. It's very, it's a very interesting um, cause. And I also think it's another way that people can symbolize in their workspace and around them that, they are alternative. They are not labeling themselves. They are not, you know, labeling against other people. And exactly, it's a beautiful thing. And and it's just simple. It's a safety pin and it says, hey, I believe in everything. I believe in e equality of all. I believe that everybody should have equal chances and everybody should be able to believe what they want to and live how they want to. And you know, no matter what their race, gender, or sexual orientation is, and or their beliefs. I mean, if you want to worship rocks, worship rocks. If you want to worship cats, worship cats. If you want to, you know, however you want to do, you know, that's left up to that person. That is your own inner self, and I think it's nice that there's something as simple as a safety pin that can symbolize people that believe in alternative beliefs and things than your uh, your everyday labeled organization and um, so sodality giving it a label and um, oh wonderful thank you thank you so much guys I love it when you guys share my posts um the like I said and just anybody can um, yeah, I was I was very neat, and it's very neat. And I had to call back up to Sandalwood and Sage and ask them what the website was again, and um, put it on my Facebook because, you know, this is a way that in the workplace you can show that you may not be able to wear your pentagram. I mean, you can wear your pentagram. You you know, unless your job, you know, says absolutely no jewelry at all, then you know you can't. But um, your pentagram is no different than your than the person sitting next to you wearing a cross. So I believe that you know wear your jewelry and pride. Wear your wear all your possessions and pride. Don't you know hide it? And I know how it feels to hide that for so long. Living in Oklahoma in the Bible Belt, it really sucks hiding it. But I have no reason to hide it anymore, and I don't and don't care to. And exactly, thank you. <laughs> it's nobody should have to hide it, and um, I embrace it. I love it, and I embrace other cultures into my beliefs, and they play in so well in it into you know aiding in the powers that I have and my clarity and my motivation and all those things. It takes into play, and I love learning from other people, too. And so, like I said, it's a fun thing, and I hope it catches on, and I start seeing a lot more safety pins.
because there are a lot of people that out there that are afraid to wear, you know, something abstract and, you know, question people. A lot of people don't question a simple safety pin, but if you're a part of the correlation, then, you know, you know what that means. So it's, I, I thought that was a really great idea, and I give a thumbs up to the creators of the safety pin correlation and I think you guys are doing a great job and I will wear mine proudly and I hope to get everybody else to wear them too. Um, the, did you, Kayliana, did you see the incense that I got today? Were you, want, were you able to catch it? <coughs> were you able to see Kaylee, were you able to see the incense? Maybe I lost her. The, I'm going to do a video on, this is a new one I picked up today. It's the chakra incense. And um, I'm going to do a video. And this is one I got from Sandalwood and Sage today. And it was $3.95. And it's for... Um, as for your chakra and it's got it comes with all the individual it comes with all seven of them in it and which was really neat and I'm but I need to there's a couple of them in here I don't really okay um I don't really know enough about and I want to do a little bit more research on this, but um, this is, like I said, my favorite brand. I only buy the Hem brand, and um, I wanted to try this out because it has all seven of them in there, and um, it's it was only three ninety five. You can't beat that uh, for all the incense that you get in there, and I can use it with my in my spiritual healing sessions because there was like five or six of them in here that I do use. There's a couple that I don't really know a whole lot about. But I will be doing a video on that one, so look look for that one. I want to kind of, I want to play around with it for a little bit, per se. Um, this, I got, I picked up some more sun and moon today. I use those in candle rituals and spells. Um, I, I don't know if you guys use them for anything else. Um, if you do, I, I like to get everybody's input. Um, and then lemongrass is one that I love. I keep, and it's for, um, it's a, lemongrass is kind of like a purification, a clarity, a wellness. Um, <laughs> trying to send me some signals like I can see. Well, I was trying, I know, right, um, I catch myself whenever I'm watching other people's live videos trying to talk back to them and not typing it in, so, um, lemongrass is a fun one, I, it's just, it's, um, it's one for mental clarity, yeah, yeah, it's one of my top, um, Lemongrass, Dragon's Blood, Amber, and Sandalwood are my fa or Cedarwood are my fa are my favorites. <coughs> and if I run out of them, I'm going nuts trying to go get some more. But um, Sandalwood and Sage they're really good because these little boxes I think there's like eight or ten in there and they're only a buck, so I can go in there and you know, pick up 10 different types and, you know, not spend that much. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's kind of, that's, I was, I was, you know, I, I wasn't really paying attention to who was on and how, and when people came in, but I was kind of thinking you missed that first part because you always do. <laughs> Just, just, just putting it out there. Sorry, <laughs> but 
that's, oh, my other goodie I got today. I can't leave this one out. Oh, it's my favorite. Okay, um, there's a lot of psychics or spiritual people. They have uh, box, treasure boxes, tile boxes, things like that, and um, special boxes that they'll use. And, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm always late, too. Um, this one, it called to me when I was in the store, and, uh, <laughs> I, I, I need, like, I don't know, I'm, I, I need help with being late myself. I tell people 3 o'clock, and it's like 3.45, I'm, I'm bad. Um, this one is a, it's a tile box. And I got this there today, and she actually held it for me because I had stopped in there, and I didn't have my debit card with me, and um, it was, I only had like, I, I had le this box that was $25, and I had less than $25 on me, of course, but I didn't have my wallet with me, and so she held on to it for me because it was only one like it. But it's called a tile box, and um, I do a lot of traveling and with my healing, and this is a very good box for carrying around my stones and things like that. It's lined, it's felt lined, and it's just an absolutely gorgeous box. The tiles are done by the artist. I don't have my glasses on, but it's the artist that does the fairy work and stuff. So, I mean, it's it's well worth the price. The craftsmanship's beautiful, and they have a beautiful selection, like with wolves and things like that. Um, and just this one just called out to me, and that's how I end up with all my things from there. They usually call out to me. I I just kind of. I'll go in there with an idea of one thing that I need or a couple things that I need, my normal incense and things like that. And something always calls to me and I end up with a whole baggie of tra treasures. So um, that was my deal for today. Tomorrow I am going to do um, a video on our stones and signs and who commented Sagittarius? Let's see. Kayliana, you said you you said Sagittarius. Okay, you were the first one. That's Sagittarius stuck in my mind. So tomorrow I will do a video on um <laughs> Um, <laughs> I know that's what we need to do. Hey, we need to we need to hook up one day and go down and um and go down there and go shopping. But um oh, what was I gonna say? Um the oh, I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, the tomorrow we'll do the video um on as uh, Sagittarius. Yes. I will do a video on Sagittarius, your stone, your element, incense, everything will cover all of your um, things for your sign, um, for your comfort zone, kind of your feng shui, just, and I, whenever, where are you going, um, whenever I do, when I work with somebody and have sessions with them, I go over things that are just specific for them so this is going to be a new experience for me because I'm going to do a specific for the entire group of just Sagittarius all together so um, that's going to be my little uh, research for tonight and get that together and yeah <laughs> oh are those are Sagittarius are your boys those are your kids good good um, boys, the, one of the good, um, stones for them, where is it, uh, uh, moonstones, 
Moonstones are good for your boys. Uh, those will be ones that you want to just keep in their rooms. Um, and then the, um, and I know I've said that pink, um, that pink quartz is good for girls, but it's good for boys too. It's good for, and little kids, just any little kids. Um, let me see. I'm trying to think if there was anything else. Um, I could think about top of my head on Sagittarius. Um, and of course, any of your, um, calcites, any of those are good too. Oh, moon. Moon, um, M-O-O-N, the moonstones. They're, where are mine? Um, let's see. Aha. This is, this is a moonstone. It's just like a, it reminds me of a quart, just a clear quartz, but just kind of white. But that's the moonstone. It's kind of a, almost a pearly white. So, yeah, it's, it's a, that's what I dropped was, <sighs> dropped stone. That one's a good one for, that one's a good one for kids. And amber, amber is always a good one for kids too. And we talked about that one. So, and speaking of kids, it's time I gotta go pick mine up from his new job at Wally World. So, um, I appreciate everybody watching. Thank you very much. And Miss Gypsy, we will talk Sagittarius tomorrow. What time is going to be a good time for you?